to Kenya where county governments will use monitor land use and detect irregularities in a land allocation and identify sensitive areas for conservation following the establishment of geographical information system, a technology targeting data-driven decision making in land management. Council of Governors Chairperson Ahmed Almdai says that the geographical information system labs being implemented will streamline operations and fast-track resolution of land disputes. Irregular land allocation, disputes over boundaries and encroachment of ecological areas are among challenges that have hindered the country's progress towards efficient land management. The Council of Governors, the European Union and the Food and Agriculture Organization have established 32 geographical information system laboratories to support digitalization of land records. These GIS labs will serve as hubs where county governments can access advanced technologies and expertise. They will foster a culture of data-driven decision-making. We find ourselves in a transformative era where data, innovation and technology are de redefining every sector including land governance. In this framework, uh, the EU is uh, particularly committed to fight inequality and reduce the digital gap. Establishing GIS laboratories in Kenya's counties make marks a significant milestone towards improved land governance. The system will facilitate efficient land management through digital maps. It is a technology that integrates hardware, software and data to enable us store, manage, analyze, model, geospatial data. The use of GIS in governments has therefore become a matter of necessity that fosters on effectiveness in service delivery and efficiency in the use of scarce resources. Land is a critical issue, but now we are going to solve the problems using digital. So this is a big step. The current fix we are in, the problem is as leaders. And there is no angel will fall from heaven to fix our current situation. We must fix ourselves. And the, county... the Council of Governors and the strategic partners have launched the system's implementation guidelines and its training manual to empower the personnel on how to use the equipment. Trevor Nindo for Prime Edition.